Shabbat Shalom. Our Torah portion this Shabbat is called Chayei Sarah, translated as the lifespan of Sarah, our first mother. But she dies at the beginning of the Torah portion, and it's the last endeavors of Abraham, our first father. Those are our ancestors, and the Torah portion actually deals with their legacy and what is the last teaching, a great teaching, that they leave, us, they leave us with. On the surface, it looks like a very mundane Torah portion, almost an anti-climax to all we read about Abraham and Sarah until then. We had them hearing the voice of Adonai sending them to the unknown and they followed that. We had Abraham say, here I am, Hineni, the first person in the world to say, here I am, I'm here for you, Adonai. I'm here with all my heart and all my soul and all my being. We had Abraham doing such great things. And now, in the last years of his life, in this Torah portion, where he's going to also die towards the end of the Torah portion, what does he do? He does a real estate deal. He buys a burial place for Sarah, his wife, after her death and then for the rest of the family. And he goes to find, or he sends someone to find on a matchmaking mission to find a wife to his son Isaac. So the last two actions after all those great religious moments that we read about Abraham arguing with God in Sodom and whatnot, the last two messages is about buying property, a real estate bill, and finding a wife for your son. And actually, it doesn't make sense that he has to do it, because God has promised Abraham time and again that this is the promised land, and he's going to inherit it, and all his children are going to inherit it forever and ever and ever. So why does he need to buy a real estate piece there? And then why does he need to find a wife for his son? I'm not talking about the father-son relationship here. I'm talking about the fact that, again, God promised him time and again that he's going to have many children and his seed is going to live forever. So he doesn't need to worry about it. God should do it. It's God's part of the deal. He can rest. But Abraham never rests, and he teaches us a great lesson. We should listen to God's promises. We should believe in the covenant between us and God. But we should always be the ones doing the work that needs to be done. And this is a message that our veterans that are, we are honoring today followed when they went to defend our country. They could have put their trust on God bless America. They could have put their trust on someone else, but they went and they did the job themselves, following the footsteps of the greatest ancestors we had of Abraham and Sarah. Shabbat Shalom.